hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time my name is agatha and in this video today i'm going to be doing this crochet um two all back i saw and kim jeffrey did on this space so please stay tuned to the end like this video share this video do whatever you know you can do to support this video so right now i'm dividing the hair into two sorry when i was showing the rubber band and um crochet i didn't i didn't talk to you guys about it that's what i've been using for this video um a set of um black rubber band and um crochet pin so right now i'm dividing the, the hair into two then i'm putting my edge control my hair wax to make sure that my lines are straight as possible then i will try to mold the hair just keep watching i will talk when it's necessary to talk meanwhile how are you guys doing how are your family how are your friends and hope you are loving and taking care of yourself hope you are plating your hair too please <laughs> so let's go there yeah. so i'm going to start cutting the hair now and start tying them down with rubber band and please there's something i did off camera i didn't show it on the camera after tying down the rubber band i'm going to i'll be holding the hair and dragging them out so that the roots can be strong you don't want your rubber band to be saggy it's not going to be it's not going to make the hair to look neat so after tying down after i've tied all the hairs down rubber band the way I, i'm doing right now i will hold the hair and I, I didn't do it here I'll hold the hair like I'll literally divide the hair into two like the portion that is inside the rubber band I'll divide it into two and drag it or even to yourself drag them out it's not it's not going to paint the owner of the hair you just want the root to be firm so I'm I'm cutting and I'm tying down rubber band now I don't think this one is a uh, much explanation so just watch I'm just telling you what I did off camera and I hope you understand what I did if you don't understand just say it in the uh, comment section i will come there i'm right there i will answer you immediately so i think after tying this one i'm going to be fast forwarding the video so after watching the two you don't need to watch throughout that's a waste of time so i'm just going to fast forward the video tie all then we'll come back to plating which i'm going to explain in details the placement of hand and everything you want to know trust me this video is for you you will get all your package all that you need about this hair in this video so please don't forward don't skip or what don't go out of the video just stay here you appreciate it So I finished tying the hair with rubber band. Please, I've done that. What I said that I did, I've done it already. I've dragged the hair out of the rubber band so that the root will be firm. That helps a lot. And now I'm going to be crocheting the braiding hair. Look at the way I'm crocheting them in front of the tied hair. I'm crocheting it in front. I've done the rest, sorry. Power was interrupted, so I wasn't able to make a video at that place so i'll be crocheting them at the front crochet at the front you see where i'm placing the crochet and i'm putting the braiding hair so do it exactly that place don't do it at the middle of the rubber band it's not going you're not going to pack it too well so look at the way i'm doing it at the front please at the front 
थैंक यू I wasn't able to put on the last one, it was giving me issues, so I thought I should just leave it and pack it because by that time I'm going to be my hand is going to be full with braiding hair. And if I want to collect at that point, I will also collect. So right now I'm going to be starting with her hair. I'm just trying for the hair to be smooth and putting edge control. So I'll be starting with her hair, then I will collect once. Just look, I'll start with her hair right now. So I'm going to collect one, one braiding hair, feed it in. If you have any issues with your feeding, so you can just go straight. So I'll I have picked the other side of the hair, the crocheted um braiding hair. Like it, you know, it's having two hands. I've picked the first hand and picking the second one now to this um side of the braid. Then the hair which I tied with rubber band. Is at the middle i'm putting into another branch or yes it's a branch of um the braiding hair then again i'm picking this side and the other side mind you is where my braiding is that i'll pick first so it doesn't matter if it is this side I'm, I'm picking first or the other side now i'm picking the hair which is at the middle to the one in, at the middle at that particular point in time now i'm picking this side to the one at that side to the braiding hair at that side at this particular time now i'm picking this other side to the braiding hair that is at this side at this particular um time you pick the both side before you pick the middle now i'm picking the middle and as i'm going forward i'm noticing that the middle hair that the, the real hair is beginning to get thicker which is going to make my braid to be not to be smooth so what i did is that i'm going to be dividing the hair with my hands i'm explaining beforehand so that if i come there it's not going to be an issue you already understand what i said so i'll divide the hair with my hand attach it to the other braiding hair at the same time i'll divide it that middle hair i'll divide it because it's too big if i'm going to add a bunch at a time it's going to make my my braid my 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 woven to be rough so i'm dividing it I, I you are not seeing it i'm dividing the hair at the middle then i'll add it to the one of the braiding hair that the one of this or the one of the other side depends on the one that i can add to at the particular point in time but mostly i added to this side so that's what is there i think i've explained what i need to explain in this video You continue. You see, you see that place I divide. I divided. You can see that the, my hand is not even coming out because the hair there is so thick. So you divide and add to any side that is comfortable. That you are comfortable adding. Either this side or the other side. Whatever side you can add it, add it to. Add it up. Then. Da -da 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 -da. Will be at the beginning then i'm going to collect the braiding hair again and add it to this place because i feel like the hair on my hand is so small and that place if it is small it's not going to have fitting so i will add braiding hair to my my braid then voila we are done with the weaving now i'm going to change the hand of this uh, braid i'm going to make it a jungle braid because i want that fluffy look i want it to be looking um not crazy i want to be looking you know i'm going to be adding curls also just watch so we'll start our jungle braid now
So I'm gonna hit curl some some of the braiding hair. I wrapped it around the rollers and put it inside hot water to set. So I'm going to be cutting this into two, and I'm going to be dividing them and crocheting them to the hand of the corn roll. So the hand of the braid, I, the like the bun I made, I went ahead and sewed it, but that was off camera. If you don't sew it, it's going to be falling. It's not going to be looking beautiful. So I sewed. Can see that it's raised more than the way it was before. So sew it if you are going to be trying this style. Thank you for watching to the end of my video. Please like my video. Give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And thank you. I love you from the bottom of my heart. God knows. Bye.